Hi guys. So some of you watched a live video that I did this morning where I spoke about um, a post that teacher Tom, Tom Hobson did a post uh, called birds of a feather flock together. And I did a reactionary post to it. And I want to tell you a little bit about what transpired before I did that. So I have known and admired and had a relationship with Corey Berg for six years. So Corey Berg um, is currently in her seventh week as the director of a center in Texas that has remained operational during the pandemic. And she's been doing a lot of Facebook lives about how she's how she and her team are providing that care. And so because we know each other so well, and I've been sharing her Facebook lives a lot, I actually, she was uncertain of how to do a Facebook page. Uh, she was doing her original Facebook lives from her personal profile. Uh, so I created a Facebook page for her. And as I said, we are good friends and we respect each other tremendously. And we've attended presentations that we've both given in the States. So um, anyway, we message, we've been talking more than we've ever been talking in six years. We usually talk once or twice a week anyway. But during the seven weeks of her provision of essential care services at her center in Texas, we have talked several times a day. Um, so the program that I operate in Nova Scotia has been mandatorily closed. And whereas her program is very near a hospital and has remained open uh, this entire time with reduced numbers and extreme restrictions. And so her Facebook page, um, which I will post a link to, uh, has been tremendously popular and she has actually done some Facebook lives for New Zealand. She was recently uh, recommended to do one for India. Uh, she was in Rob Fox's Active Childhood for UK, uh, which is a group of over 7,000 people. So a lot of people are very much uh, learning a tremendous amount from her live Facebook videos and she does tremendous research about how to provide the best care in the situation, etc. So we messaged each other this morning and we both said to each other, did you read Teacher Tom's post uh, from yesterday called Birds of a Feather? And we both said yes. And she wrote, I'm doing a Facebook Live in response to it. And I immediately wrote, oh my God, so am I. And then I wrote, I believe our Facebook lives are going to be quite different. And she said, yes, they probably are. And I said, okay, let's not watch each other's Facebook lives. Let's not watch them at all. And then let's get together over Zoom and we will watch them. And then we will have a video together discussing how we felt about each other's responses and Facebook lives in relation to teacher Tom's blog post. So we did that. So I have two videos to post after this one. And one of the things that then Corey plans to share all this on her page as well. And we have put teacher Tom in the loop. I was actually going to be talking to him on the phone in about 10 minutes. But I have to, I have a great big list of phone calls I have to get back to because uh, Prince Edward Island uh, released their list of restrictions um, as their programs are going to be opening, uh, reopening on May 25th. So it's been a super busy day because there's been a lot of conversation about a list that Quebec put out for elementary kids and restrictions and then Prince Edward Island's thing came out. Um, so it's been quite the day. So. Here in the Maritimes, really, the reaction to Teacher Tom's blog post it is like this This live Facebook thing would have been a big deal a couple of days ago. Uh, but in the Maritimes, it's all about PEI's list of restrictions for daycares and as well some commentary on the list that people are sharing about Quebec's elementary school restrictions. So, um, so Corey and I talked about, you know, 
we would be fascinated to know the order of people's viewing. So did you, number one, read Teacher Tom's blog post? And did you then, number two, see Facebook, uh, Corey's Facebook Live about it? And then number three, see mine. And then number four, see our combined reaction. Or did you only see the article and then see my response? Or did you this, or did you this, or did you this? And we have also reached out to Teacher Tom to see if he would like to have a conversation together. So there you go. You're in the loop. So now you know that I'm gonna post a couple of videos and where those videos came from. Okay. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.